Okay, those are your top headlines at this hour. Let's move right on then and connect with the management of ITI here to talk about the turnaround plan as well as the government's divestment plan. S. Gopu, the CMD additional charge at ITI is with us on the show and thank you for being with us. To start off with, it's taken three years from the time you got the 4,100 4, crore rupee package from the government for things to materially change. So how has been the journey and where do you stand in your turnaround plan? Yeah, ITI Limited, earlier it was called as Indian Telephone Industries. It, has, uh, it brought the telephony to India during the early stages. And in 2000, due to the R&D was shut off and also the globalization, ITA went into red. But subsequently, during 2014, the management thought of differently. We started thinking out of the box. It went to the government and got the revival package for infrastructure upgradation also, uh, irrespective of the clearing of balance sheets. So this has helped a lot. And because of the diversification, not only the telecom equipment manufacturing was the first line, Second line, we have entered into service sector. And third line, we have gone into the new sectors like IoT, the uh, Digital India, and Make in India concept. And now, fortunately, at the time, government also has come up with the uh, new big, big uh, uh, flagship programs like uh, Bharatnet. Uh, and also, it also started into smart cities and all that. So this, our, the new area which we have gone into IoT and smart cities have helped us a lot. That's our results have gone up. For example, 2014-15, we had clocked only 650 crores as the turnover, whereas the 15-16, we have jumped into 1250. 16-17, we have gone into 1621 crores. And our losses have come down last year very much down from 256 crores to 57 crores. With the government grants, we have clocked 305 crores as the profit. So and we have the three-pronged strategies. Number one, diversification that is a change master because you see now india is going into the fiber revolution so where in the fiber revolution they wanted the ofc optical fiber cable which has to go inside the htpe pipe all these things we have installed in our various plants so that is one the second one is go into the newer areas of iot and smart cities third one is giving motivation to the our employees where there was a promotional holiday for there for about five to six years. Now we have lifted it and now we have started giving their due requirements so that we can see the smile in their face. That is why now we are marching into the new golden era and now ITI is back onto the rails now. And next year we are planning to clock around 2000 to 2200 crores as our turnover and we will be making our own uh, profits and we'll be standing on our own legs. This all because of the government support and also government's vision of the new present vision and the Make in India. Now all our manufacturing of telecom, which we are doing it in our units where there was no work earlier. Now all our five units are running 24 bar 7. That is how the success story begins. Mr. Gopu, 2,000 crore rupees, that's the top line you're targeting. I think that's very ambitious. Um, but, you know, uh, yes, you did speak about, you know, data centers, IoT, <coughs> that's where you plan to, you know, expand into. But there are large players here. It's very competitive. So how exactly are you going to tackle that bit? And also, how would you see your, uh, how would you see your company being positioned with, you know, everybody gone wireless? And like you said as well, you know, the new changing trends beyond landline. So how are you seeing yourself in the industry at the current juncture? Now you see, even now, 70 to 80 percent of the landline is maintained by us. So the landline is a must for the uh, Wi-Fi and uh, data, number one. Number two, our data center, which is running very successfully presently, and we are going to the second data center. Okay. Third one, even now, the new IoT, we have already started getting orders from the Swachh Bharat, etc. And now our order book position is around 1,600 crores, which can be done within this financial year. And we are addressing to around 9,000 to 10,000 crores. Okay. Uh, now, earlier this business was project, uh, protected by government policies. Uh, it seems like the disciplined execution has resulted in drastic reduction in the losses. And you've managed to report a profit in the last two years. How much of this has been aided by the government grants and what really has helped your performance? 
Last year, we have, uh, we have got around 450 to 500 crores grants. That is why we were able to give the profit of 305 crores. Even without grants, when we are seeing our losses have come down very drastically from 256 to 56 crores, that is a giant leap. That means if you see our operational profit, we are at the break-even level. So, and in future also, we have diversified into, th see, our vision is three-pronged approach. 30% is the telecom manufacturing, 30% is the service where we get more margin, and 30% is the new area. That is how we are confident that we will be able to clock higher profit coming here, and we will be standing on our own legs. Uh, so you already spoke about the order book being about 1,600 crore rupees. If you could just explain to us how it's spread across your key focus areas. And going forward in the next 12 to 24 months, what kind of order inflows are you penciling in? Any tenders that you'll be participating in? Yeah. You see, in this 1,600 crores, we have around 300 to 400 crores is our manufacturing orders for the prestigious projects of Bharatnet. And also, another 300 to 400 crores is the cable laying project in the Narstein area. And another 150 to 200 crores is for our defense. Our encryption is our portrait in our defense area. And another 250 to 300 crores is in the service area where we do the other authentication and also do, through our uh, data center and another 250 to 300 crores is on our new uh, areas where we are doing IoT and smart city, et cetera, and which we are aiming. And also continuous our maintenance support is being given to the landlines and also the managed lean line net network and also for defense. That is also one of our major projects, major order book position in this year. All right, we wish you all the very best. Thank you for joining us and giving us a deeper insight into the business, how things have been shaping up for the company, your overall order book, and as well as your improvement in uh, financial performance where your losses have reduced drastically. That's the stock of ITI, 88.7 is where it's currently at. Well, straight up to the markets, a quick glimpse, 9902 is where we're currently purchasing.